Inflation is heading towards double digits in the US, and there are growing fears of a recession. But employers don't appear to be overly concerned after adding 428,000 jobs in April. The growth rate might be slowing after last year's powerful economic rebound, but the figure has helped drive unemployment down to 3.6%, just a fraction off pre-pandemic lows. These kinds of numbers help reinforce the view of those who think that the US economy can weather this inflation crisis. But equally, a jobs report from April doesn't tell us a lot about how employers are going to react to the US central bank raising its main interest rate aggressively. Doing that can deter businesses from expanding because it makes hiring employees more expensive. President Biden is among those who see the glass as half full as he visited a factory in Ohio, an important state for the outcome of November's midterm elections. We learned the hard way that we can't fight inflation if supply chains buckle and send prices through the roof every time there's a disruption, which has been constant disruptions, particularly in South Asia. We know that one of the best ways to fight inflation is to bring prices down and bring prices down is to strengthen the resilience of our supply chains. And that includes making more things here in America at home from top to bottom. Even so, there are signs that the hiring boom may be slowing. The government revising down impressive February and March employment estimates by a combined 39,000. And after the economy contracted in the first quarter, some pessimistic economists are queuing up to give varying degrees of probability for the chance of a recession, typically defined by two successive quarters of negative growth. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.